so i, I will uh, now i will share one of my case of the patient that uh, i would not disclose as uh, the patient's name for the confidential uh, as a confidentially confidential confidentiality so age was uh, age of the patient is 23 years old male so patient had a acl and mcl grade 3 injury and uh, he was he came to us as a operated patient so we take it as a post operative rehabilitation of a patient so uh, when the patient came uh, i saw the patient into the hospital itself so uh, when the patient got operated uh, patient got operated on the 26th july uh, 2022 so patient got operated in 26th july 2022 and we got a call for physiotherapy and i went there so what we uh, what i did was uh, we, i started with the initial rehabilitation stage so initially just teach the patient isometrics make the patient do isometrics and foremost goal should be putting ice pack prior to your treatment and post your treatment so what you did what i did was i i applied cold pack for 10 minutes then i just initiated with my hand putting um, uh, putting underneath under the patient's knee and asking the patient just to contract the vmo so i uh, want i would like to mention here i also i even went for pre operative management just one hour prior to the surgery to explain the patient how he has to do the exercise post operatively just to uh, show him that how the muscle contraction varies and how the muscle contraction behaves when it is not operative and, and when when it is operated so we start with the gentle gentle uh, gentle gentle isometrics contraction in this so in phase 1 what we do is immediate post op so this is basically a michigan uh, michigan rehabilitation protocol i would just explain you into my language how i do the rehabilitation quickly so first is i apply ice prior treatment post treatment secondly i always say isometrics is the goal for the knee rehabilitation or any if it is shoulder if it is hip just start with the isometrics it is the safest mode of exercise and patient under if the patient understand it easily then it, you are into the like you are into this more connected connected with the patient like yes you know how to just tell him just press my hand press my hand slowly press my hand slowly you can even ask the patient to put the hand onto the knee and say okay can you see the contraction can you feel it so the patient what what may, patient would exactly feel is little little contraction around the vmo so if it is my knee joint it, uh, it is my medial side and it is my lateral side. Pas I would ask my patient to put hand here onto the medial side and asking the patient, can you feel a little contraction into your VMO? So VMO is a major basic muscle which should be targeted whenever it is about knee. It, in, in, whether it is a case of osteoarthritis, whether it is a case of knee injury, whether it is rheumatoid arthritis or inflammatory arthritis, or it is uh, you it is even if it is patellofemoral pain syndrome then also target vmo you can target hamstrings major muscle is vmo so vmo is your vastus medius oblique okay so in uh, in phase 1 i would tell you what what is our rehabilitation goals first first four most important for a physiotherapist is protect graft if you are working into the hospital hospital has a specific policy which is like you have to see the patient and you have to uh, like not to injure the patient. Simple. Don't create any harm to the patient. So for that, the pri primary goal should be protect your graft. Protect patient's graft properly. Okay? And reduce swelling and minimize pain. So for, you cannot apply tense directly over there because patient is being just operated. What you can do is you reduce the inflammation around the joint, pain would be reduced. Tricky swelling, if there is swelling, which means it is inflammated. And if it is inflammation, there is there would be pain. So you reduce the inflammation, you reduce the swelling, pain would be ultimately reduced. So for that, what you can do is apply cold pack around that area. Then you come back to your patella mobility. If there is no reconstruction or there is no like no uh, no reconstruction for the patella, please do patellar mobility at the same day only like you continue from the same day only you can do patellar mobility there is no harm in patellar mobility if there is no avulsion fracture of the patella okay so what should be your foremost goal it should be full extension full extension in two weeks when the patient go has to go back to the surgeon he it should be completely extend uh, pa uh, pa patient's knee should be in complete extension 
if there is an extension lag extension lag then it is it is completely your mistake like, there should be no extension lag post surgery because when patient, when the surgeon do the surgery they check the pay, they check the, they check the knee after reconstruction and then they know yes there is no extension leg so you have to do good isometrics good extension so that patient has no extension leg if the patient has to go back to the normal activity that extension leg will cause day to day problem for the daily activities into the patient okay and then it comes to the patient education keep your knee uh, straight and elevated when sitting or laying down do not rest it uh, like don't let your patient put the knee directly on le leg or directly onto the floor. Ask the patient for initial two weeks, please elevate your leg. Okay. And ask patient not to do any in high impact activity or even moderate impact activity or low impact activity. Like you can educate your patient. You don't have to kick any of your knees straight up, like operated knee straight out. Okay. And you have to always support your surgical side when performing any of the activity. Like patient is performing... Uh, simple transfer activities okay so you ask the patient please support your knee when you, whenever you are doing sitting or sitting to lying down or lying down to sitting okay and there should be no pivoting activities okay if there is a reconstruction then and just suddenly patient has a pivot action like ro rotating on, onto the knee then it could uh, create a problem so when it comes to the weight bearing activities initially everyone recommends uh, if there is a reconstruction Please uh, do it with the crutches. Uh, use a walking aid for that. And then you can start, uh, like for the initial two weeks, you can start with the crutches. And then there, when there is no pain, no effusion. So in weight bearing, uh, our initial sh initially should be with the crutches or depending on the consultant advice. Usually they advise when the patient's pain is less and have more stability, you go with the crutch. Till then you go with the crutches. Okay. And you can uh, they they usually advise to use a brace uh, for the knee which has a system called uh, unlocking and locking system in it so what we do in that is uh, we unlock the brace when we have to do some uh, leg activities or we have to uh, sit down so patient, initially patient is unable to bear, bend the knee so we can we put it in the lock stage extended stage so in this what we what you can do what options do you have as a physiotherapist in this is Ice, compression, elevation, uh, uh, massaging around the joint, ankle ankle pumps. So we, we, we usually teach patient to do ankle pumps around that area. And for the range of motion and mobility, you start with the patellar mob mobilization, seated assisted knee flexion extension and heel slides with towel. Low intensity, low, in, low intensity, long duration extension stretches like prone hang. So this is the best exercise what you can suggest patient ask the patient to lie down onto the stomach and take out the leg outside like till the ankle side till the knee side so that it self pro hangs the pro hangs the uh, pro hangs the leg okay and then you uh, you can uh, mildly stretch the calf of the patient patient will feel much better after that whenever there is a surgical management uh, there is a tension created around the calf muscle so in this we teach patient is uh, your uh, isometrics for the VMO and then we uh, see uh, we uh, tell patient to do some hamstring stretches. So we have calf raises, we have quad sets and there is a machine called, there is a machine called NMES which is basically neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation. In that, what you can do is you train the VMO muscle with the electrical stimulator. And then it is, it, we have seen, like I have also trained my patient with the NMES. We see whenever we uh, stimulate the muscle around the VMO, we find that yes, the, that yes, there is, uh, there is this, uh, there is this thing, uh, improved quality of the muscle strength. So what is the criteria of progression from phase one to phase two? So there should be no extension leg. It should be zero. Then it should be a proper quad contraction with the, uh, with the superior, superior uh, patellar glide with full active extension. And patient should be able to do straight leg raise without any lag. So what the patient should be able to do? Straight leg raises without any extension leg. So when then we come to our phase two, which is immediate post-op uh, post for your knee 
in this it is 3 to 5 weeks after surgery what you have to do the same go what goals you have to follow it is same continue to protect graft maintain full extension and normalize gait so now there is no crutch there is no crutch uh, for the patient for mobilization uh, so patient has to ambulate it her, him or her as a independent so what you can suggest in this is stationary bicycle it is a good uh, good option for the knee bending and extension there should be gentle stretching for all muscle group your pro prone quad stretch standing quad stretch kneeling hip flexor stretch and strengthening so when we talk about the strengthening your hamstring your glutes and your vmo these three muscles if you have strengthened well patient would never face problem into anything whether it should whether it is a like hiking activity there is a hike or there is some sports activity your vmo your hamstrings your glutes should be your glutes should be completely mm -hmm. activated so then there there is a component called balance and proprioception there is that that is a majorly missed component nowadays for the sports person always put patient for balance and proprioception activities so that if when patient has to go back to the sports patient doesn't come back to you for a re injury purpose if patient's balance patient's proprioception is good patient will do well into the sports and yes whenever it is about knee whenever the, there is a post operative case or any ligamentous meniscus injury patient loss of patient loss of balance is there loss of balance sense is there proprioception is also lost okay so don't say ki no okay and we have done the strengthening no strengthening is one part proprioception balance is second part gait and return to sports is your third part and fourth is ultimately plyometric patient should be able to do high impact or moderate impact activity depending on to the surgery and to your injury okay so criteria to progress from phase 2 to phase 3 there should be no swelling you can do modified stroke test basically checking around the patella there should be no swelling then should be the uh, when it comes to flexion range of motion there should be equal flexion onto the both side there should be no extension lag mm -hmm. so we come to the phase 3 which is late post op management from 6 to 8 weeks to 6 months so in this what we do is rehabilitation goals so uh, the rehabilitation goals in this is continue to protect graft uh, graft site maintain your full range of motion safely progress knee strengthening uh, promote proper movement patterns avoid post exercise pain swelling avoid activities that produce pain at your graft donor site okay so if we have taken a hamstring okay as a as a autograft there should be no pain around your hamstrings okay there should be no pain around your autograft so in this what you do is you continue with the phase 1 and phase 2 exercises then you do more of rotational tbl mobilizations if the range of motion is limited always try to manage that there should be no limitation into the range of motion if it is still present don't uh, don't panic just give good stretch to the patient give good mobilizations to the patient give good strengthening to to the patient and activate your gluteus maximus it will help you so if we talk about like we are doing rehabilitation into a gym for the knee patient so what we what you can what machines you can follow there is leg press machine seated hamstring curl machine hamstring curl machine hip abductor adductors hip extension roman chairs and seated calf machine so this will overall work as a knee strengthening protocol so the patient now we in this phase we are preparing patient to go to the return to sports phase so in now if in this what what you can do is we can, you can use a thera band a use a theraband around your around the patient's thigh as the patient to do the lateral walk side walks quads lunges it will create balance it will create proprioception and give good strengthening to your knee so criteria to progress in this is there should be no effusion no swelling pain after the exercise there should be no, no ron should be equal to your contralateral side symmetrical joint position sense matlab if we are doing the balance test for the patient proprioception test for the patient it should be equal on to the both side okay now it is phase 5 which is 3 to 5 months after surgery it could be even after 6 months of the surgery it is early return to sports so whenever you are clearing a patient to go back to the sports or go back to the ground firstly train the patient into the ground so that you know the patient is safe to play we don't want any re injury cases coming to us so that we have strengthened the patient okay now our work is done it is your time you have to perform 
and I will help you how to perform and not to come back to us. So for that, you, their goal, goal should be safely progress strengthening gradually. Don't hurry up. If you think patient require more, more one month of uh, rehabilitation, do that. Don't hurry up. Don't give loose hopes. Don't say, okay, you can go. No, you are not clear. If you think there is even one grade lesser than the contralateral side, don't refer patient going. Don't just say, okay, go back to the sports. You are not eligible to go back to the sports. You require one month of rehabilitation more. There is no harm in saying that, okay? So safely initiate sport-specific training programs, promote pro proper mo movement patterns, avoid post-exercise pain. So now it is five months post-surgery. Even after doing isometrics, doing high-impact activities, there should be no swelling after the activity. So additionally, what you can do is return to running program. So you have done rehabilitation for, uh, for initial two phases, three phases, four phases. You can start with jogging, running, treadmill, sideways, lateral walks. And then you go, go back to agility and plyometrics program, which can which you can consider as a, you put a ladder onto the ground and then ask the patient to jump through it. Then as you put cone and then ask patient to do walk, walk around it. So that when whenever patient has to do the sports activities, it comes to the normal activity and patient has no injuries, no injury, post pain. So for functional assessment, what you can do is you can do your isokinetic testing. If it is available with you, you can do your, all uh, uh, like you can do a gait analysis if that's available with you as a physiotherapist what i what i do is i do the muscle charting and if i see the muscle charting of ipsilateral and contralateral side are equal i say okay and if, and do i do the balance and proprioception test and then say okay if it is no both same onto the both side patient from my side is clear to go back to the ground so when then it is uh when it is phase six the patient is unrestrictedly going return to the sports so pay you now you it is time for you to tell patient okay it is uh, you who has to take care of yourself now if you have any of the concern you can con contact me back but you have to do strengthening regularly pre-stretching before your workout is mandatory you can ask the patient how to use foam roller you can train the patient how to use foam roller pre any sports intervention and post intervention warm-up relaxation should be trained so whenever there is a sports protocol, whenever there is a gym protocol, always educate patient for pre-warm-up, for main phase and for cool down. If there, if you know these three phases well, your patient will never uh, never have any problem into the sports. So in that, uh, what all uh, you can do apart from all these exercises, you can men, you can uh, like you can make arrange a plyometric program. You can uh, educate patient for a plyometric program. This 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 is you have to do. Okay, multi-plane uh, uh, specific agility program, you can say. And then you ask the patient, there are multiple questionnaire. If you if you're doing any study, or if you're checking self, uh, self uh, like how much you are uh, training the patient, well, you can ask the patient to fill several questionnaire. Okay, so this is how we do the uh, rehabilitation.